So when it comes to um, installing your prop, you have two options. One is to go with the um, prop adapter. Now the the good thing about this is your prop's not going to come off. But the downside is for landing, if you land in the grass or something with your prop down, it could break your prop or bend your shaft. So if you plan on catching this plane or just catching it, I guess, then you could use this one right here. Um, but if you plan on landing it in um, grass or doing whatever, then you could probably use this prop saver. That would be the best option um focus there we go but um whatever you do it would be easiest to use this because um one of these holes that comes with the prop fits exactly in that shaft and if you um if you want to use the prop saver then you're gonna have to drill out these holes to fit that little deal right there um so to do that, what you're basically going to have to do is um, it's going to be kind of hard to drill out one of these holes because of the fact that uh, they're really small and you can't really hold on to it or something. So if we take this and you're going to get the side that's going to actually go on the prop is the side, let me get this to focus, is the side with the rounded edge. So it's this side over here, not this side this side so you gonna see which one of those which one of these holes fits into that the best and it looks like the biggest one is too big and this one is a little bit too small as you can see that right there um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the prop saver version just because uh, I like to land on grass even though I catch it most of the time most of you guys will probably want to do it this way, so I'll just show you. Um, so I just took that out of the ring thing, and notice how uh, there's some little things on the edge. So what you want to do, take your, your knife and just carefully, just don't cut yourself, just nick those off. Like, hold on just a sec. So this is all smooth now. Now there's, uh, I guess there's a couple of ways you could do this to make um, this hole fit in this. But what I'm gonna do is glue. I'm gonna actually glue this into the prop. Um, I haven't actually done this yet, so I'm not 100% positive it's gonna work. But then I'm gonna glue it in there and then try and drill it out and hope it doesn't just spin. So that could work, it might not, um, so I'm not 100% sure, I can't just push that in there, that's not going to work. Uh, but before you do that, you have to balance your prop. See that balancer right there? So balancing your prop um, requires a prop balancer, so if you don't have one of those, you could, I guess you could do it with like a thin piece of metal or something, but it's going to be harder. So now... We will cover how to balance your prop. The first thing you do, let me put this tripod on, is you take your prop, this is your prop balancer, you take your prop and you put it on the shaft, of course. So if you don't have a prop balancer, you're just going to go like this, all right, on that piece of wire. But if you do have a prop balancer, you probably already know how to do this, but I'll just cover it really quickly, um, super quickly. So you put it on there and you hold it flat and look one side drops OMG so what you do is you get some tape um, I use scotch tape and you um, you take your scotch tape or whatever tape you have and you put it on the light side so the light sides in the air all obviously so you're just gonna stick it on there on um, you always stick it on the back side of the prop see that and then put it like that and see which side is so that side is still light that side is really light, so what I'm going to do is, um, this bottom side needs to get lighter. So what I'm going to do is go to the trailing edge of the prop with my razor blade and just shave off, just shave off some um, plastic. And if you see those little crinkly things, basically just shaving off plastic. So now you go over here 
and go balance it again and that side is still way heavy so I'm gonna keep um, just adjusting the weight of each blade until this prop I can let go and it'll just stay perfectly horizontal so um, I think it's safe to say this is the most off-balanced prop I've ever come across in my life um, look I have this whole side loaded up with tape which looks bad from the camera angle right now but it's actually not that bad um, but yeah, there's a lot of tape. Yeah, that does really look bad. But, um, and then I've shaved a ton off this side of it. So, um, <clears throat> I would recommend putting something else on this side, like, maybe like nail polish instead of tape. If you have to load it up with that much, um, or you could just shave a ton off one side. That's what I did to this side. So if I put this on here, and let go as you can see it just stays so that's it balanced now so what I'm gonna do is pull it off my prop balancer and get my little ring that I um, had in there that the one that's, that's the right size and what I'm gonna do is put this away really quick and take some CA now you guys can really do this, like attach the prop, whatever way you want. Um, a lot of people have their own ways of doing it. But I'm just going to do it this way, just to try it out. So, anyways, I'm going to take my... The lighting is bad in here, sorry. But I'm just going to take my um, prop deal here and um, put some glue in my this is something wrong with this camera it focuses weird I'm gonna take some glue and put it on the inside of that prop I put way too much in there but oh well I'm gonna take my little ring and drop it in there and there's some excess glue around the edge I'm just gonna wipe that I'm just gonna wipe that all around the edge so it balances it out with the glue being on there <sighs> dry glue <sighs> okay well anyways so that's in there my ring is glued in there now so basically uh, what I can do now is go down here to my old trusty drill bits and find the one that will just open up this hole a little bit now that would be none of them because oh my god it just came out here drill thing bit go back in oh that's so gay hold on gotta put this little hole back all right this clip's getting way too long but anyways i'm gonna put that in there and now i'm gonna actually let it dry so i'm gonna leave this there for a few minutes so to make this thing fit i'm just gonna take a drill bit and i'm gonna just do this by hand just cuz but notice how the drill bit like doesn't even like fit well it fits in it but it's not like the size of that little thing uh so what i'm gonna do is i just take it and just kind of like just kind of like scoop hand to drill it and that is that thing oh this is so ridiculous that little thing won't freaking dry in there it just spins and spins i just want to use this thing it'd be so much easier but I can't give up. Uh, Alright, what's next? Let's see, what am I going to try? That pops out though. So that, I should probably just save that um, for using with this. That would be a ton easier if I just did that. Notice how it fits perfectly on there. And it's just like amazing. I think I'm just going to use this one. If you want to do the... Um, if you want to use this then you can just figure it out use an APC prop that'll definitely work with this that's what I use with these all the time um, APC props just if you're using this 3000 kV motor just make sure it's a 6x4 prop don't go any bigger than that you'll burn it out so I'm just gonna use this alright so um for landing it and stuff what I'm gonna do is I'm either just gonna catch it or I'm gonna glide it until the prop is I'll just like keep spinning up the motor until the prop stops horizontally and then I'll just land it so 
um, for all of you that are using one of these just to use you can either somehow drill out those things like you could probably drill it out when it's still in this little holder or you could just use an APC prop um, so let me just test this out see if this would work it seems to not be breaking off so that's a good thing I think this might be possible there's only one way to find out and that's to connect it to a big torquey power drill just to rip it out of there anyways so let me open up the little chuck thing and stick that in there and no way it works so that works I'll just kinda round it out So I'm just going to go to the bottom. And it would help to have a drill press for this a lot, but um, if you can see there, it's not perfectly um, like centered. But what I do is just look at it and see whichever side is fatter, and then I just press the drill towards that side more. And that tends to work out pretty nicely. So I'm just uh, forcing it down kind of. I'm going to do it the other way a little. And then just kind of see if this thing fits in there again. Uh, which it does not, of course. Yeah, it's going to need to be a lot bigger. So I'm just going to keep milling this out until it's about the right size. We might have hope for this. I might use it if I can get this to work. So, um, as you can see, I got it to fit, finally. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to take this thing off of there. And it's got those little things on the end of it like the other one did. Now it's stuck on there. Uh, let me open this up. This one's probably glued into this prop adapter because of all that glue that was in there. So, uh, take this. What? Oh, that other one's in there. Now it's going to get glued in there and dry. Crap. Let me try and pop this out. It's coming. There we go. Alright, so now I can just stick this on in there. Uh, like that. Yes, I win. So that works. You just have to um, have a lot of patience and um, just do that. So as you can see, it fits flat. And that's a balanced prop. And that's nice. So uh, the prop adapting is going to give you the most trouble for this build, um, for sure. Or maybe not for sure, I don't know. But it gave me the most trouble. So basically, now we're going to put the prop on the airplane, so you're going to need that O-ring that they gave you. Um, put those aside, so this is the O-ring. And now you're going to put that right there, and you're going to need to go into your, um, your thing of things, your, your little Allen wrenches, and you're going to need to find the one that fits the thing. Uh, let me just try one here. It looks like this is a... That doesn't fit. Try that smaller one. These are metric. I hope it's metric. Yeah. So it's um a two millimeter metric, and then you're just gonna need to slip that on there as far back as it'll go. That'll lessen the chance of your prop getting or your shaft getting bent. And you're just gonna screw these down super snug. So like tighten it up real good. The other one's stuck to me. Let's see. I'm just going to spin that around and then put it back. Tighten this one up now. Just crank on that. So now, what I need to do now is take um, your O-ring and stretch it around the prop and to the other one. See that? So now your prop can bend when you land in the grass. And you've got your O-ring there, and everything is fine and dandy, and that should be a pretty solid fit. So if we pick this up and go whoosh, whoosh, make sure the prop tracks straight. Um, it looks like it's tracking perfect, or something close to perfect. So that's my prop adapter. Good luck with that part. It's the hardest.